Yo, what's poppin', it's your boy TJ, welcome back to the channel, I hope everyone is well Trading has been crazy this week, we had three losses in a row, but two wins and I'm up 10% because of the power of R to R, which is also called Risk to Reward Now I'm going to go through on the charts with you, what is Risk to Reward and also on the whiteboard as well on, And I'm going to show all the beginners if you don't know what Risk to Reward is and also the people who have been trading but might not understand in detail about risk to reward and how powerful it actually is. Myself as a trader, it's difficult to be profitable in the markets. You have to get over hitting the sales. You, you're gonna hit the sales, you're gonna lose money, but you've got to keep your composure, your mindset, the psychology in trading. Podcasts will be coming out next week, so make sure to subscribe to this channel as well with notifications turned on so you can be the first people to watch the podcast dropping next week first episode we're going to be doing it weekly as well so it's going to be insane i'm going to get other traders from around the uk and possibly abroad depending on how well the train actually goes and the podcast goes but yeah without further ado let's get into the video baby Boosh. let's go baby okay so i just want to talk about obviously this week three losses two wins all in the same day obviously keep to your trading plan but if you believe in a certain trade then make sure to actually do it and uh, you know take the trade in the end of the day you are your own trader you are yourself you gotta make your own decisions and you're here to make money so believe in yourself don't not believe in yourself i just wanted to say three wins no sorry three losses two wins and i'm up 10 percent. that's insane it's crazy easy trading and it wasn't even hard 20 pips to sell difficult at the moment due to the volatility in the market gold's very very manipulative at the moment and it's just impulsing hundreds and hundreds of pips per each move which is crazy and it's all to do with the world news but you've got to learn to adapt to the market so without further ado let's get onto the whiteboard and let's get onto the charts and let's teach you guys how to actually trade properly with risk to reward and make some money in trading let's go baby one hour later okay back at home I really want to explain to you how powerful risk reward is. When I was a beginner, I swear on my life, I never got told about risk reward. I didn't get told about risk management. And I can see in my VIP group that a lot of individuals are progressing in the right way. These people who are trading, the beginners, even the people who have been trading for a year or two years. In trading, you need to get rid of your ego, okay? You're going to take losses. It's okay to take a loss. The people who will start complaining or whatever they don't know about trading and the reason for this is as i said three losses in a row i took yesterday i took three sls and i had two wins somehow out of these two out of this yesterday i'm up 10 percent and that's just risking one percent and this is why you guys need to understand it's so important the risk to reward you you must go on to an online website or use Stinu, or use Nash Market's new risk management app. Go check that out, that's actually dope. I've been using it, shout out to Nash Markets. But this risk management is important. The people that say, oh, I use big lots because I just want to try to flip my account and stuff like that. What are you trying to flip your account for? Are you trying to gamble your money or are you trying to actually trade properly? And this is a difference, you know. You don't want, you don't want to be that person who says they trade, but they're not trading right. And I, I understand you make mistakes. It's taken me four or five years to even get to a stage where I can actually make money from trading. And that's just me being completely honest. And honesty is the best policy with anything and especially with trading. If I was to sit here and tell you I was able to trade within the first year, then I would be lying. But also you guys would be looking at yourselves, reflecting and being, you know, being harsh on yourself, being hard done, feel hard done by Think to yourself, is there any point? And the truth of the matter is, it's going to take years, but you've got to start with the right habits. When you're doing risk rewards, you've got to use risk management. And this is why it's so important. I use 20 pips to sell, and this is another big thing with the industry itself. My SLs are 20 pips. With gold, 20 pips is literally, it could happen in a second. It could, you could enter the trade, bang, 10 seconds later, SL hit, you're done for. And this is why. I hit SLs. That is honestly the only reason. I have to get sniper entries and I made a few videos on it. It's difficult. It is difficult to get sniper entries with gold. I've been trading with 20 pip SLs for the last three years now. And it has worked. It has worked and I'm still doing it and it still works. 
January I made 40 plus percent, 44.5 percent, just in January from using 20 pepper cells. Last year, obviously I'm not going to go into it now, but it was it was a joke. The profit you can make is insane. Yes, you will hit SSL SLs if you go into uh, you know trade. You are able to use 50 pip SLs, but this is why you use risk management because if you're using right the same lot size on a 20 pip SL to a 50 pip SL then my friend, it is game over. You will be losing 2.5% difference because you're holding for an extra 30 pips. That, that's over 50% more of a stop loss. This is why beginners go into bad groups with 50 pip cells and 10, 20 pip, 50 pip take profits, which if you had a 50 pip take profit, that is actually, right, a one to one R to R. The R to R is one to one. And that's what's crazy. 50 pip a sell, 50 pip take profit. If it hits take profit, 50 pips, that is 1%. Yes, you might hit less trades, but it's going to take a hell of a lot longer to make good percent. And in, if I'm honest, the only way I'm going to make money on my accounts is if the percent is coming in. And I'm talking 10 plus every single week. That is what I aim for, for my, myself. If I get 20 in a, in a week, then next week I start and I, in my mindset, it starts from zero again. And that's the best thing. 20 pip SL, if I had a 50 pip take profit, right? The difference is with this now, it equals with the R to R, 2.5%. And that is why I use tighter sales because as shown on there, 50 pip take profit, 20 pip SL, I'm making 2.5% from the trade where they're making 1%. And this isn't me to sell you the 20 pip SLs. Use whatever the SL, whatever the charts are telling you use. You have areas in the market, you've got the lower highs, you've got the highs, you've got where it could bounce off certain supply and demand areas, all of that sort of stuff. You have to change up your trading as you go. You can't, if you're gonna use 20 pip SLs, then you have to be buying at the bottom of the range when it's a buy, or if you're gonna sell at the top. It's got to be top notch, otherwise you're going to hit a sell, FOMO in, hit a sell, FOMO in, hit a sell, and you're going to keep hitting a sell, a sell, a sell, a sell. So, a lot of things you've got to take from this, and then I'm going to get onto the charts, show you a trading VIP this week, and explain about the 20 pip sells further into detail. Just a few things you need to remember. you got to make a trading plan, especially with these 20 pip sells, but adapt to markets. If the SL on the trade, you need to have it lower, then calculate it. Go into the risk management app. This is gonna be 28 pip a sell, manage it. So every 28 pips take profit, let's say, you're making 1%. It doesn't have to be 20 pips, but all I'm trying to say is, is that the smaller SLs you have, the better R to R you can get. And yes, you might take losses, but losses are not your enemies. It is literally a benefit. If I hit an SL, obviously it's not benefit, but if I hit an SL, it is what it is, I move on, you know, and it um, doesn't mean you're a bad trader, it just means that you've got to make sure that you get some winning trades, and I, uh, you know, I've watched loads of videos on YouTube, there was another trader like myself, he had a $400,000 account, and his wins were like three wins, 15 losses, or something like that, and um, he was literally saying in the interview, I hit more loss, I hit SLs than I do wins, but my wins are much greater. And that is the key thing in trading. There's loads of different techniques and strategies to use with trading. No right or wrong. You can have 50 pip a sell and have 50 take pro take profit and hold that trade, you know, you know, but only make one percent where I'm looking for myself to make good percent, but also my members to make better percent than they've ever made with any other traders because we're here to take over this industry. I'm here to take over this game, which is why I'm uploading a lot. I'm gonna bring all my knowledge, all my experience, and get every single one of you viewers watching better at trading. So let's go onto the charts. It's been your boy TJ. Make sure to check out the VIP link in description. Make sure to check out free trades as well. Link in description, all free and Discord. Nearly got 3k members. Let's go, baby! A few moments later. Okay, so I call these buys on live streaming, so make sure to subscribe to this channel. I stream New York sessions here and there. I'm gonna start doing them three to four times a week. But we saw price pull up to 2070, pull back down. And this is where we caught easy, easy, easy buys during this move right here. 
let me just mark it out as you can see i've got a box marked up here but price actually come all the way to 2017 from my entry which is at 2013 down here now our entry was pretty sniper entry it was easy to retest and the reason for this is because we already broke up we know that gold was going to go bullish from 2020 after an impulsive move and this is why risk reward is so important because we caught it at 2013 so around here we had a 2011 sl as well which is perfect because it's a 20 pip sl which is part of what i'm trying to tell you guys we had 2019 take profit and also stop level was 2011 so 20 pip sl take profit 60 pips and this is where it could have been crazy because we only caught the move up. We knew price was going to retrace back to 2020 from the previous highs here formed after it dropped to 1999 slash 2000, let's say, because it's going to break and then retest. So we got price break here on this lower high. Now we know that price has gone up, touch, can't break, pull back below. Previous lower high, high here. So we're using this lower high as a consistent staggering bullish market giving us great direction there so we could have bought in at 2003 waited for more confirmations got in nice tight sl brilliant brilliant stuff didn't even come back because of how price moved up pulled back held hold 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 and then broke out and we actually got this lower high formed right here from the previous highs with the consolidation so basically with that trade we smashed take profit uh for 60 pips which we could have actually held all the way. If we did hold, we would have made 30%. We only took 3%, but we could have made 30% from that trade. SL break even, never pull back. We're likely to see pullbacks now. If you look on the 1H from where gold is, if you actually look, we're likely to see pullbacks at 2014, previous lower high bullish engulfing to make it go to 2017. This was the start. So either 2013, or well, we're going to see it pull back to around 2000 or 1993. There's three areas that I'm waiting for. So we'll see how the markets shape up depending on the bullish momentum. Make sure to join the VIP, which has the gold signals. I've got another Forex group, which does currency pairs such as Great British Pound USD, E, U, R, US dollar and all that sort of stuff. So make sure to check it out. Link in the description down below. It has been your boy TJ. Join up all of the free trades, discords and everything. Link in description. Make sure to like and comment in what videos I should be uploading and I will make them for you and do that. But yeah, it's been your boy TJ. Much love on this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Let's go, baby.